Hi, welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we'll show how to create lifelike lighting in D5. We'll also delve into using the AO overlay and preview feature to fine tune shadow details and improve the overall realism. Lighting is fundamental to achieving realistic interior visualization. Begin by establishing the primary light source for the area, which is usually the natural light derived from an HDRI. Next, add an artificial rectangular light outside the window, sized equivalently to the window itself, to mimic natural light and boost overall lighting. Consequently, the intensity of this rectangular light should be moderate to maintain a gentle illumination. When the barn door's length is set at 100 and the angle at zero, the illumination is almost exclusively aligned with the direction of the light source, targeting a precise angle. Reduce its length and the light's coverage becomes more expansive. Enlarging the ANG will further broaden the illumination scope. Use the same method to add another upward-facing rectangular light to brighten the ceiling. Move on to set the main artificial light sources, which are essential for adequately lighting the deeper sections of the house, particularly along the corridor. These lights will also accentuate the shadows created by objects near the window, thereby enhancing the overall contrast between light and dark areas. Position a rectangular light outside the window and orient it suitably. You can increase the intensity of the main light sources to create a smooth transition from light to dark within the attenuation radius. Duplicate this light source and position the copy facing to the right. Enhance the wall illumination by placing two downward-facing rectangular lights. Switch to wireframe mode for clear visibility of their orientation and adjust the intensity as needed. Now the main light sources are done. Move on to add decorative lighting, such as cabinet lights. First, select the model's material with I and enable emissive adjusting intensity as needed. Install a strip light matching the model's length with low intensity to improve ambiance. Enhance layering by adding a warm tint to the light. Keep adding other decorative lights. Upon finalizing the lighting design, the entire area is bathed in gentle light, casting soft organic shadows. If you wish to further refine the shadow details, applying ambient occlusion overlay in the preview will be an effective strategy. Ambient occlusion represents the effect when ambient light is occluded in corners or crevices. You can apply this skill to enhance subtle shadows. First, go to the effect panel and enable the AO option. Then, carefully adjust the AO radius to expand or reduce the scope of the shadows before turning on the AO overlay in preview button. When you achieve a satisfactory AO effect, activate the AO overlay and preview option to seamlessly incorporate the AO effect into the viewport. Adjust the overlay intensity to control the prominence of the AO effect within the viewport. By comparing the viewport with and without the AO effect, 
it's evident that the contrast between light and dark areas is significantly enhanced, thereby increasing the realism of the rendering. That completes our tutorial. Welcome to download D5 Render for free. Thanks for watching.